Welcome to the channel. Today I want to share with you my technique for reconditioning a collet sizing die or a neck sizing die as it's also called. Um, for those of you who are not in the know, what happens is when you fire a case, uh, you develop a vast amount of pressure. I mean, even the Humble 223 is fired at about 55,000 psi or so. Now, that pressure basically squeezes the brass of the case into the wall of the breech and deforms it. Um, us shooters, we're tight and we like to reuse this brass. And so we have to get it back into the original specification dimension. And that is done by normally using a full sizing die, oh, such as this. And the uh, case is looped and squeezed into the full sizing die under some pressure. And uh, it, it then takes the, the form off of the, the hollow space in the, in the full sizing die that it basically squeezes it back into spec. Uh, size. Now the trouble with that is that A, you need to lubricate the case and as soon as you lubricate something it requires cleaning afterwards. Um, it also works the brass and it's, it's not quite as simple as it could be. So provided the case is shot out of the same rifle again, we can use something called a Colette sizing die, which looks like this. Now the Colette sizing die differs because it only resizes the neck of the case rather than the whole case. That is done quite simply. If we strip a collet sizing die down, we have a decapping pin that runs the length of the die and basically decaps the primer from the fired case. And we then have the collet, which is here, which has a number of petals. And we have what I, I guess I'll call it the anvil, which the collet squeezes into and under great pressure, the petals close and squeeze the neck uh, back to uh, a size where it'll accept the bullet. The collet sizing die is then a great labor saving device because not only do you not need to reclean the brass because there's no need for lubrication, but also it doesn't work the brass as much and so the lifespan of the brass is increased. Uh, you cannot use the, uh, the collet sizing die indifferently, though I find that after about four or five firings, the uh, body of the case has expanded to the extent where uh, it starts to stick in the chamber, and so it needs to be full sized at that stage anyway. Unfortunately, the collet sizing die uh, picks up uh, wear and tear quite quickly because it, uh, it resizes the neck under pressure, and the two metal parts of the uh, collet and the anvil rub against each other as we squeeze them together. And if we have a look at this particular used uh, collet sizing die, we can see there are some striations on the petals there, and correspondingly on the anvil as well. The aim then is to remove those. This is how I do it. We'll start off with our collet, and I have uh, an M6 bolt here. And I'll just very quickly put this washer on the end of it, like so. And the collette, then just your standard washer, and then a nut. Like so. Put the spanner on the end. Right, and that's nice and tight. I'm using a drill press here, but this can easily be done with a hand drill as well. Um, what we'll do, we'll take our little construction, and we'll stick it into the drill press. For polishing itself, I have some uh, 240 grit paper that I'll use to start with to get the worst off. And then for finishing, just some 1,200 grit. Polishing done, we'll take our contraption apart again. And I'm sure you'll agree that looks much better already. 
Occasionally there are little dings left over. I don't like to take too much off. You also have to remember that to some extent this part may have been heat treated. So you want to be careful that you don't build up too much heat in this. One of the other th things I sometimes do, if they're giving me trouble, I take just a punch. And I'll just lever the petals that little bit apart again to put some spring back in the die. Now if we have a look now, you'll see that the petals are that little bit further apart. Before we reassemble the die though, we should also attend to the anvil. Same tools as last time, only this time we don't need the washer. We just stick it onto the rod and we'll put a nut behind it. For final assembly, I like to apply a little bit of good quality grease to the top of the petals. And uh, less is more here. If you use too much, it seeps onto the uh, cases, and that is less than helpful. There we go. And then take that, stick it back in the case. On goes the decap, and finally the cap on the end. This then is the finished reconditioned Colette sizing die and that should run just fine for uh, five or six thousand rounds until uh, it begins sticking again. That's it from us, I hope you enjoyed our video and uh, we will see you next time. Goodbye with very dirty hands for now. <laughs>